It's kind of a, the unique style I developed, but you know, I'm not the creator of that style, but I, you know, I sort of uh, made it to a bigger proportion than most artists do, uh, in the sense that I incorporate the interior of a place, you know, the foreground being the interior of a you know, wonderful apartment or house, and then the background being whatever you know, I explained earlier would be you know, like a dream place to be, you know, Paris, New York, San Francisco. I think it's kind of a, something I want to convey, like a special feeling that this is not all too serious, you know, it's just like, okay, it's whimsical because the, the background can be, you could, you could have, let's say, when I do the interior scape, you could have an apartment overlooking uh, the parliament in London or, or even uh, like an incredible setting of New York, you know, the Central Park or even like scenery that you would not think possible of having, you know, from your, inter from your interior, from your own apartment. So I do incorporate that in my images as a fun part of the elements. And then I also create, uh, you know, even the carpets, I create the design of sculptures and different elements that sort of, you know, bring, you know, color and happiness to the, the whole imagery, you know. And then when, for the finishing touch, I, I do realistic uh, reproductions of actual painters or past painters that I do admire. So it's like paying a tribute, uh, like an homage to those artists as well. And uh, it became like a little bit of my trademark to do the interior scape. And to the extent that now when I do a painting with uh, Tarkai inside or uh, Lukanf or Krasnansky, you know, I do a lot of other artists from Park West now. You know, I did Miro, Chagall, and Moran, but then they, they, they come to me sometimes and they go, oh, did you do an interior with my paintings there? You know, I say, okay, yeah, yeah. And actually, I did pretty much all of them. You know. I don't have a gigantic studio, but it's very quiet. It's facing south. I'm overlooking at the Med there. The weather is excellent, so it's always good. The, the scenery is beautiful, so it's always inspiring to me. The light is wonderful, you know, the, that kind of very uh, clear light, you know, that's very inspiring, you know. If uh, you wake up in the morning, you're a bit more motivated. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not from the south of France, I'm from Brittany, the west part of France, but I do really enjoy the place. It's really, you know, special and precious. You know, it's underneath my house, so it's very convenient, you know. I can go there in my slippers if I have to. And then, that's the good news and bad news. When you work at home, you know, it's an endless situation where you can, you have to go down on weekends and all the time, you know, it's non-stop, you, you, right there next to your atelier. But I love it. It's not a punishment. It's really wonderful.